Hello everyone! Connecting panels in a network is one of the greatest benefits of the addressable fire systems, especially when it comes to big installations with high number of devices. Today we are going to see the two methods for connecting panels in a network supported in our IRIS and SIMPO panels. It is possible to create a network with up to 64 IRIS, SIMPO and repeater panels. For that purpose, the installers can use two connection methods. Via RS485 redundant network model, you can create a mixed network between IRIS, SIMPO and repeater panels. The second option is to use the built-in LAN modules in the IRIS panels to create a network over LAN. The network model is an additional PCB mounted under the main board of the panel and it is connected to the network connector. In this case, we are using an IRIS panel for the example. The redundant network uses four wires for communication between the panels in the network, going from one panel to another panel. We have the in-terminal, which we use for connection with the previous panel in the network, and the out-terminal, which we use for the next panel in the network or for completing the redundancy of the RS485 network, as you can see on the next diagram. It is important to know that the maximum cable length between two RS485 network modules is 1000 meters. There are also three LED indicators used for connection quality status. The one on the top is for connection between the redundant model and the panel itself, while the other two LEDs are indicating the connection with the other panels in the network. Blinking LED means the connection is good, and if the LED is continuously lighting on, there is no connection established. As we mentioned earlier, we can use the built-in LAN model of the IRIS panels to create a network. We can use a standard CAT cable to connect the IRIS panel to the LAN network. We have two options. To connect the panels over the internet, where every panel is online and it is using a real IP and we are not limited in distance between the panels. Or we can make a direct connection between panels, but in this case we need to use switches on every 100 meters. In some of our next videos we will see how to make the network settings of the panels and also how to determine the priorities of the different panels in the network. Thanks for the attention and see you next time.